So how fast is fast? I just talked to Tony for, let's see. Well, I spoke, I called Tony four minutes ago. And while I was talking to him, I started that fire right there in that pile. And look how big it is already. Crazy. And I did everything right. I contacted the fire department, called the sheriff's department. And they told me just one hour before sun, sun has to be out one hour before sundown. I think it'll be there. That's hot. Of course, I've seen structure fires and I've seen a car burn. And the heat, I'm probably about I don't know, 75 feet from that thing. And it is hot. Sadly, there are wood piles like this all over Texas because these builders clear out the cedars and then they burn these piles. I wish they had a machine that could just come in and grind them up. This is not going to take a grand total of 12 minutes and that entire pile is ablaze except for that one little corner. 12 minutes. Looks pretty cool looking through the tree here. Sun's just peeking out over the treetops over there. This will be out in a short period of time. It's been a total of 15 minutes. Maybe 20. This little branch right here just now started burning and it's right next to that little cedar tree. I don't think it's going to burn, but you never know. But that tree's got plenty of separation between it and any other tree behind it, even though it doesn't look like it. How long have we been burning? It's 18, so it's, it's almost done. The heat is not quite as intense as it was. Looks like a tree stump is sticking out there. See that? Because the wind's got a slight breeze going in that direction. No big deal, though. I have the tractor. I can make a new pile and restart it. Not today. Which this stuff catches fire is absolutely amazing. Of course, it's dry. Uh, well, it's not dry. We've had a lot of rain. That's the only reason we can burn. But I will be happy to get rid of these piles. This is Quinn's tree, though. We'll be gone. It's just a branch. They, when they piled it up, there's nothing sticking out of the top. I mean, that was 30 seconds ago. Look how tall that is. What's really cool, though, is the flowers and the greenery that's going to pop up after this burn is done. It's had a time to heal. Amazing. And the heat. Whew. You could roast some marshmallows on that fire. Whew. Hot dogs, marshmallows. Probably dig some coals out once it burns down and make a nice Dutch oven meal. Look at the top of that tree. I don't know if you can hear it. It's going to fall. The people that cleared the land to get rid of these burn piles, they light them and leave. <laughs> Man, I just, just can't imagine doing that. Not that I could do anything, but I could at least dial 911 and get the fire department out here. But I did have to go by the firehouse, tell them I was going to do it. I called uh, the sheriff's office this morning, told them I was going to do it. And I think I told you earlier the rules are just have to be out by one hour before sunset. And as quick as this thing is burning, yeah, it'll really be out. Might have some hot coals, but I'm going to take the tractor and I'm going to check it first. And then I'll take the tractor and just pile it all up. The crazy thing is that tree-looking thing, which is really a tree just standing on top of the pile, a dead tree, is still standing. It had branches on the top and they just went woof, made a nice sound. I'm not going to stand here and wait for that thing to fall. I would like to, but who knows how long that's going to be. About a little less than two hours. This is what's left of those two big old piles. And... There's some kind of some kind of animal over there. Huh. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Anyways, this is what's left. And like I said, there's a big pile of dirt in the middle of it, so there's not as much junk there as you thought. I hate that it's smoldering like that, but there's not much I can do about it.